The sea hath no king but God alone. Dante Gabriel Rossetti. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. We are headed out early from Cat Key along with the Punta Gorda sailors who were headed more south toward the Keys while we were headed across to Lake Worth just south of Jupiter, Florida near West Palm. We had heard about the cruise ships out in the Atlantic just hanging out but had no idea we would see a total of five. You know it's bad when cruise ships are giving way to us because they have nowhere to be and nowhere to go. Even as I type this, I wonder what happened to all those ships and the people on board. Although we did see one off the coast of Miami as we were headed back north spring of 2021 and the crew was using the lifeboats to get ashore. I believe this was a carnival boat that gave way to us. The crossing was a little uncomfortable. This was the first time I had issues with the rocking of the boat. But Dee was able to keep himself really busy catching tuna. and catching more tuna and catching more tuna. We came into Lake Worth with a total of four. This was our first time in Lake Worth and it was a full anchorage with more continuing to come in from the crossing, most likely from the Bahamas. We even woke to find Sava, who we met in Long Island, Bahamas, anchored in front of us after an overnight crossing for them. Sorry, you caught me talking about a sport fishing boat that tried to take us out under the bridge in Jupiter, Florida. But we need to get on up the river near Stewart for Journey to be hauled out. So we headed out of Lake Worth the next morning towards Stewart, passing through the Jupiter area and seeing the lighthouse and lots of people out on their boats for on a weekday in the middle of COVID. So we are just north of Jupiter, Florida. And we're coming up on the sandbar and we want to show you Florida social distancing at its best. Yeah, I don't think you can keep people from partying. Having a good time at the sandbar. Yep. We're trying to decide maybe we should just anchor here. We anchored in Stewart for two days so we could do laundry and get some preparations done on Journey before her haul out. But most important, we get to step on land for the first time in well over a week. Alright, tell me how you feel right now. 
uh, that we're in dirty water and we're back in the States and it feels wrong that we're here. <laughs> but we are getting ready to do what? Laundry. And? Be on land. Be on land. <laughs> yeah. Since like a week. Well, it's been over a week. Yeah. I forget the last time we've been on land. So it had to go back to Bell Island, I guess. No, I guess Wardrick Wells. Wardrick Wells. Yeah. Yeah, right. For just a, a minute or two. Not yeah. very long. Not very long, you're right. Alright. Just thought we should capture this moment. <laughs> <laughs> After getting Journey ready for haul out at anchor, we headed up the river to River Forest and we had to pass through our first lock, the St. Lucie lock. From this direction we go up. So when we leave River Forest, we'll go down. I know I started worrying right there about coming back through this lock, but I did stop to take a short video before needing to head back and man my lines. You just can't leave them tied to the boat as the water changes everything quickly in a lock. <laughs> we headed into Journey's summer home at River Forest for haul out. This is the first time I get to see my home hauled out of the water. It's a little nerve-wracking to watch. Journey finally arrived in her permanent home for the summer with Shelby tucked in underneath. Now that we're back in the States, it's time for haircuts and hiking, among some other summer fun activities we've got planned. Oh, 